Hi hey everyone, this is Qualified.ie. It's a niche job board site for accountants in Ireland that I've been running for just over a year now. It's built on Bubble and it's generating a bit of monthly revenue, but one area I'm really falling down on at the moment is in terms of an SEO strategy. I've done pretty much nothing so far in terms of making this easy for Google to crawl, to index and to rank highly for. So what we're going to do today is we're going to take a very first basic step and look at how you implement header tags in your Bubble app. To start off, we might look at what exactly are header tags and look at a site that is much better from an SEO perspective. So this is ranchwork.com. It's a really cool niche job board site for, for ranch workers. And if we look at their main text element on the homepage here, and we right click on it, and we click inspect, you will be brought into the Chrome developer tool section, and you will see there's a H1 tag next to this piece of text here. So this is letting Google know that this is an important piece of content in terms of indicating what the page is about and it just makes it easier for Google to, to rank this site for search terms related to that piece of content. So in this term, in this case, it's going to be rant work, uh, which this is helping. There'll also be some H2 tags if we do control F and look for H2. You'll see that the site title here has a H2 tag and there's probably some other ones as well on the page. We'll just check here. Yeah, you'll see that jobs in popular categories and jobs in popular locations also have H2 tags uh, implemented. If we go into qualified, uh, like I said, I've done nothing yet. So browse jobs for qualified accountants in Ireland. This is really telling Google what this site is about and uh, what this page is about, but I haven't implemented those H1 tags. Again, right click, click inspect, and you'll see that there is no H1 tag next to this piece of text here. So that's what we're gonna do now. To get out of this. If you go to our bubble designer, first thing you're gonna to want to do is go into settings, go into SEO slash meta tags, and it is important to note that this will only be available to you if you're on a paid bubble plan. And then you're gonna to go to expose the type of tags for text elements and tick it. Now we're gonna go back to our designer. We're gonna click on the piece of text that we want to assign a H1 header tag to. And you'll see there's a new option here, HTML tag where this element brackets SEO. So currently set on normal, which means there's no H1 tag assigned to it. But we can change that just by clicking on that. There's some different schools of thought as to how many H1, H2 tags you want on a page. I've found that the best thing is just to keep it simple. So we're going to put a H1, H1 tag, one H2 tag on the latest qualified account for jobs. The H2 header tag should really support uh, the same theme or, or search term that the H1 tag is going for. So, you know, again, we're emphasizing that it's qualified accounting jobs that is the relevant piece of content on this page. And we're also going to put a H3 tag on the job title positions. And we'll put that there. So the only thing left to do then is to deploy those changes. So we'll just do that. And then we're going to go back to our bubble app and we're just going to see if those changes have been implemented. Again, we're going to click on this piece of text here. We're going to right click. We're going to go to inspect. And you will hopefully see now that there is a H1 tag assigned to this piece of text. And sure enough, there is. So again, we click on this, we can see that Browse Job through Qualified Accountants in Ireland now has a H1 tag assigned to it. Similarly, if we look at later qualified jobs, we will see there's a H2 tag assigned to it here. So this should make it easier for, for Google to, to crawl and, and rank our page for search terms like qualified accountant jobs, and we'll see how it goes. So that's it for this uh, brief tutorial. I'm gonna be putting out some more tutorials on how to optimize your bubble app for, for SEO. So if you're interested in that, do subscribe.